Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the first vlog of 2022. I figured I'd share with you guys a little morning routine and we're going to start off first by taking my vitamins. Then we're going to wash our face, take a shower and get ready for the day. As you guys can see, I've been wearing my natural hair and it's in an old wash and go. So in the shower, I'm going to revamp it a little bit by just wetting it with some water letting the curls come back letting them get nice and hydrated and then we're going to get ready so i'm going to do a little bit of a light makeup look today because something about the new year just makes me feel refreshed and i just want to look really nice and put together today and i'm keeping it very light as you can see my hair is a little bit wet so i'm just going to pick it out just so that i can have a little bit more volume as it dries throughout the day and then for what I'm wearing today, I'm keeping it very casual because I am going to be home. I'm going to be doing lots of edits. And so I'm going to just add some jewelry. The jewelry that I'm wearing today is by Perifoya. And this video is sponsored by Perifoya. I absolutely love their gold pieces. As you guys can see, I'm accessorizing with different rings and bracelets and their earrings. I will have everything linked down below for you guys and I will have a coupon code so you guys can save. And I also share with you guys each item that I decide to wear to accessorize. And once I'm done with that, we're gonna put on some fragrance. And the fragrance that I'm wearing today is the Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK. It's one of my new favorite fragrances at the moment. And so I'm just feeling very fresh, ready to start the day. So we're gonna put a little bit of that on and then we're going to make breakfast and start the day. Cindy welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome to the first vlog of 2022 guys like happy new year made it and I'm so excited I love the start of a new month a new week a new year a new birthday it just something about the new year or that newness it just gives me a high and I'm just like excited to start working on my goals I just like have so much energy and motivation so i'm feeling really good and today is actually um independence day for all of my haitians so happy independence day tonight i'm actually going to be making some soup jumu um i have not made it before because historically i just always go over to my grandmother's house or like my aunt's house but since we're not doing that this year i'm going to be making it myself so i have a recipe that i found online um, I don't know how much I'm going to follow it because I'm probably just going to like use my ancestral instincts. Um, but we're going to make that today to celebrate our independence. Um, today it's really just going to be a chill kind of like day in the life with me. I haven't been vlogging lately as you guys have seen basically since the share thing happened and my birthday. I kind of just had a, too much like I just wanted to take a break with social media in terms of YouTube I was posting a lot on Instagram though I did do a lot of mini mini vlogs and stuff but I just wanted to take a break on YouTube and it's something that I realized and something that I realized from December I think I've already known this last year when I tried to do vlogmas last year but definitely after trying to do vlogmas last year trying to do vlogtober well, I guess two years ago, trying to do Vlogmas 
um, trying to do Vlogtober, and then now this last December trying to do Vlogmas, I've come to realize that it really doesn't work for me to upload that quickly and that much. I'm someone who likes to take my time and I don't want to put out content just to like put out content, if that makes sense. And it just seems like I'm in a hamster wheel of like, got to record, got to edit, got to put it out, got to respond to comments. And then on top of that, you know, adjusting to being, um, I guess, an entrepreneur and having my own business now and adjusting to living in this new environment, adjusting to, um, you know, brands reaching out and trying to prioritize that. So I come to realize that I don't believe I will be doing Vlogmas every single day or Vlogtober every single day anymore. I'm going to plan it better next year because I was really disappointed. I at least wanted to get every other day and I didn't do that so I'm gonna have to think about my strategy for next year but I come to realize like I like to take my time and also I'm really trying to focus on better quality this year in 2022 um, I've been working a lot on trying to master my craft like watching videos and um, taking courses on cinematography and editing and color grading and all of that stuff because I really just want to give the best quality out there and I don't know if it's because like of like who like my personality type but I just really love the creative part of like the editing and the filming and behind the scenes I really generally like being behind the scenes more than I like being on camera is what I'm actually starting to realize so that's something that I'm gonna be working on um, also in terms of like my blog and my Instagram, how I'm going to be doing that. I want it to be more of a professional aesthetic. I started working on my branding kit, so I revamped my branding kit for 2022 and just kind of had an idea of like where I want to go with things. I want to keep things very minimal. I want to keep things very sleek and chic. Um, and I don't, and I do want to get back to the aesthetic. So I used to really like um, to have aesthetically pleasing like angles and photos, and I really love that. I feel like I haven't mastered it. So this year I'm going to try because although it doesn't get the likes and it doesn't get the views and it doesn't get, you know, whatever, I like looking at it and I think other people would as well. And I just want it to be very editorial like that's one of my keywords uh, for 2022 so that's something that I am gonna be doing today <clears throat> excuse me and I started doing already um, I know I didn't even gonna like give you guys an intro into what I'm doing today but so today's gonna be like a day in the life with me I'm gonna be um, kind of planning 2022 content <clears throat> planning um, like my media kit uh, updated my media kit, updated my branding kit, focusing on like what are my content pillars for this year, what do I want to work on. Um, the, one of the few, one of the first things that I definitely want to work on, like I showed you guys, is quality. So I did upgrade and I got a new lens for my camera. Um, I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I did get a new lens for my camera. I got the um, 35 millimeter because I had the 18 to 35 but that I was ran into issues with um, one it was too large to carry and two I always felt like it would just much be it'd be easier to just have like one lens a prime lens that I don't have to worry about so I actually got two lenses I got a 50 uh, millimeter here um, this is really good because I really want to do quality like product shots up close shots and then I got the 35 um, because I want it to be easier to carry because this is the 18 to 35 and it's already heavy and I just prefer the 35 overall um, and then what else I did get a new setup for my um, desk here because I want to be more efficient so I got a keyboard here and I got a mouse that came in but it's not here yet I've been using my Apple one but it just after a while my wrist hurts so I've like updated some stuff in my like office space I'm actually thinking about um, getting a um, iPad because I want to be able to like plan digitally and like take things along with me but not always having to take the computer and also one of the things that I want to do this year is I really want to work more outside of my home because my personality type I do so much better when I am not home all the time one because 
I thrive being around other people and two, I'm more productive that way because I really was doing a deep reflection and I realized that when I was my most productive was, um, I think, in college, definitely in college because, you know, trying to get that math degree, I lived in the math lab. Like, it'd be 2 o'clock in the morning, I'd be in the math lab. It'd be football, um, what's it called, Super Bowl. Me and my friend, we would be in the math lab or in one of the lounges or in one of the areas working, doing math. And even just on my days off, I would, I had an office like space in my room, but I would go on campus, even if it was just sit in one of the lounges. So I'm like, that's where I'm gonna have to do. And I also need to just have like, you know, just a reason to get out the house because ever since I started working remote from my last nine to five job, I realized that I need to get out the house. So that's something else that I'm working on this year. I know I'm kind of just like really rambling because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. So um, yeah, so a lot of digital planning today for 2022. I do want to do my vision board. I started working on it. I'm going to start finishing it today. And then I'm going to be editing a reel and I recorded it all on my camera. So I'm going to be editing a reel and you guys have been asking me a lot of questions about how I edit reels and stuff. So I'm going to take you guys along with me through that process. Um, so this is the 35 millimeter lens that I was mentioning earlier that I got from my camera. I'll have everything linked down below if you guys are interested. And I also do have that in a guide. Um, a lot of you guys were asking me about um, content creation stuff. So I was thinking about how I can incorporate that. So I got a new planner here. Um, I'm gonna skip to another page because I like have some like stuff on there, but I really like how this is like nice and big, gives me enough room to write in, and you have the months here. I just like that every day is big enough to write. Um, so I have a weekly planner here, and then you guys know I have my daily planner from the mantra this is their soul work planner um volume one i absolutely love this so this is like a daily um planner and it's also kind of like a journal because you can write your mantra of the day and i use this app called mantra and it gives me a mantra every day uh, based on like some of the things that you want um so yeah between those two it helps me stay between those two it helps me stay organized um, and I really just need to get back to being organized and I get back to a structured environment because I thrive better that way. I'm very type A and if I don't have structure, I'm going crazy. So I have already gone through and wrote in my journal for the day and wrote in my planner for the day. I am going to go back and make sure that I'm just like staying on top, on top of things. But first things first, I'm going to be editing this reel. I'm gonna get all the footage on the camera and then I'll kind of like show you guys how I do it. Um, but I also need to find trending music. So I'm also gonna go on Instagram and scroll to see if I can find some trending music as well. All right guys, so I got all the footage on from my camera to my laptop. Um, I sometimes edit on InShot, it's an app on my phone, but sometimes I just feel like it's a little bit hard depending on the type of reel that I'm working on and since I'm already in front of the computer anyways I'm just going to edit on the computer that's the other reason why um on the computer and the other reason why I'm thinking about getting an iPad is so that I can edit on a smaller device but like a handheld device um and also like having the pen just may might be a little bit easier to make sure that my angles and like my cuts are nice and clean so that's the other reason why i'm thinking about getting a macbook i mean not a macbook an ipad but um so i have all the footage um from my uh phone and i showed you guys all i do really is just go on instagram i scroll on the reels feed and if i find audio that i like and i try to get audio that's trending i find that that's what's been really helping me grow so i just will get the audio and then i will either airdrop it if i'm using my macbook or i'll just use InShot. but since i'm using my macbook what i'm going to do is open up the reel that i want so I have all the footage on there. 
So I just need to create a new project. Um, but it's pretty like simple once I have everything that I need because I just um, go to like the shots that I find are interesting that I've taken and I make sure I like cut it on beat with the sound or audio. That's really just how I do it. If you guys want to see like step by step how I do it, um, let me know, but I'm kind of just gonna like put it on here and you guys will see as I like, you know, clip it through um, and just kind of make sure everything's on beat. Um, I can't, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys the full reel because of the audio and everything, but follow me on Instagram if you want to see that reel. Um, but I'm gonna just start putting everything that I need. I'm just gonna title this like Instagram Reel 1 1 2020 because I recorded it this morning. So it's really just a kind of like, you know, new year reset for me. And I really just wanted to practice utilizing my camera and my my lenses and really getting that like cinematic view. That's what I really wanted. Um, I really wanted a very nice visual reel this morning. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. I'm gonna like show you guys what the screen's looking like. One thing that I just realized as I'm kind of showing you guys um, these edits, sorry if there's a lot of glare um, because it's kind of sunny out. But one thing that I do in my angles is like if I'm using something and I really want it to be cinematic, like this was something I recorded, I did handheld and I don't have the steadiest hand. So what I'm going to do is slow that down to about 50% and then I'm going to utilize the stabilization stabilization here on Final Cut just so that it's a little bit more smooth um, but I'm definitely gonna have to like do some edits with this because I could tell it's very like jumpy and bouncy ever since I learned about that it's been a game changer and a lot of the time how I am able to find tips and stuff is going on Think Media so they are on YouTube they have like the best tutorials so I'm just gonna just edit this guys because it could take me a while and there's 33 <laughs> there's 33 minutes of footage and I'm probably only gonna need 30 seconds so this is gonna take me a while. I just finished that reel it took me so long because so as you guys know I'm kind of working on rebranding so I kept trying to figure out like what exactly I wanted to do finally I just ended up just like leaving it alone and then I really didn't take a thumbnail I um, mean a cover photo that would um, work so I had to take one from like a screenshot and you know how like it crops out and stuff so definitely i have to be more intentional when i take my reels so that it's a little bit easier for me i'm not sitting here wasting time trying to figure out 
what to do but i'm headed to h-e-b now you guys know i hate grocery shopping so i'm gonna do the curbside pickup i hope they have everything i need because i really want to make this soup um when i get back home so i'm just gonna turn off some lights i need to drink some water i'm like so thirsty but i'm gonna go get the groceries now and then we will be making some soup jus when i get back all right guys i know you probably see the stuff in my trunk my trunk my trunk in my back seat listen i did such a big closet decluttering yesterday um because ooh, let me get this turn because i have too much stuff in my closet like way too much and there's stuff that i don't even wear stuff that has tags on it and I'm just really like one of my mottos and like keywords for the year is minimal. So I want my closet to be minimal. I want to, um, you know, make sure that I don't have things that I don't need, things that like are just there because I am someone who cannot function when there's too much stuff. Like I just have scatterbrain. I feel all over the place so minimal is the way I'm going this year so I decided to do a really big decluttering um, I decided to uh, donate like 95% of the items um, because I just I don't want to go number one I don't want to go through the hassle of trying to sell stuff because I need to hold on to it number two honestly like I I feel like I've been very blessed and I'm very grateful that I've been very blessed and so I would rather donate them to someone who can utilize them more than me and the way I see it is a few bucks here and there I know God's gonna bless me in other ways where I can make that money so I'm just gonna do that I am selling um, my soul cates however because 2022 your girl is not trying to be in pain. Your girl is not trying to struggle. I want some really nice quality heels that don't cause me pain the minute I put them on. Um, so I'm going to be selling my Soulcates. Um, so I'll have that like link down below on my Poshmark site because, um, yeah, I'm going to sell them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get... I don't know yet. So I have three pairs of um, Christian Louboutins. The two, I have two soul cakes. And so I'm selling both of those. And what I'm thinking is well, I'm going to replace my the black ones with a good quality black pump from either like Jimmy Choo or Valentino or maybe another Christian Louboutin, maybe the Ariza's or the Pigals or even the Kate's. So that is what I'm thinking for the nude one. I'm not sure. I think I might um, save that for getting another pair of heels um, or a sandal this time because I do have the Christian Louboutin Jumping 100 and they're nude. So I'm thinking that maybe what I could do is get another uh, another um, heel, but maybe a sandal. I really like the Tom Ford padlock heel, but you know, it's a little bit more than <laughs> what I was thinking right now but I don't know I say that and then like I'll change my mind um it also depends on like what what my budget is looking like as well because I'm, I have this new budget that I'm trying to stay on track with because by the end of 2022 I want to pay off all of my student loan debt and I want to pay off any other consumer debt like I'm trying to be debt free by the end of 2022 so I need to be really mindful of my expenses um so yeah, long story short, I have <laughs> all these clothes in the back here. Um, I heard one of you guys mention dress for success. So I'm thinking a lot of the work clothes or like the newer items, I'm gonna donate that to dress for success. And anything that's like a little bit older, I'm gonna donate to Goodwill. Um, so I have them all sorted out, ready to go. I just need to do that, but they're not open today. Hey guys, I just got back from the grocery store and I like had to put everything away really quickly because um, 
my boyfriend just asked if I want to get lunch so I had to change really quickly thank goodness my makeup and everything is done today because I literally just had to throw something on and yesterday when I was decluttering in my closet I found this dress that I've had in my closet from J Lux label and I haven't worn it yet and I was like you know what I'm feeling a little pop of color today so I'm gonna wear this with my Zara sandals and it's crazy guys it's January 1st but it's like 80 degrees outside so I'm going to enjoy the summer like weather so this is what I'm wearing for today. And you guys saw my fragrance of the day is the um, MFK Gentle Fluidity Gold. I am excited because I've had this on my wish list for a while. So I'm going to head out because um, reservations are like in 10 minutes and I need to like hurry up and get there um, because it was such a last minute thing. So wanted to just kind of share with you guys. I don't know if I'll vlog, but I'm going to take the camera just in case. Um, if I vlog. Mm -hmm. 